difficult for Keep Best Gaming to actually keep this gold laner in check here. So I think it's a pretty smart way to finish things off before we head on into the land of dawn. Nice uh, final thoughts. Whose draft do you like more? Oh man, I like what KBG is trying to do here. I, I think there's a huge snowball potential in it anytime we see a Nolan, but. Honestly, I think they're going to have a lot to deal with across from, especially now that you have an Angela and then the Valentino. Once again, that combination is quite deadly. What KBG doesn't want is if Lil Gun just guns it straight to their jungle. Mm, and that is something that they are traditionally known to do. So we'll figure out whether or not Keep Best Gaming can keep the ball rolling and secure a victory here in their final match of the wildcard group stages. Or if Team Lil Gun, they'll do it again with the reverse sweep. Welcome back to the Land of Dawn for the last time for the one-card group stages, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope we have an exciting game to close things off today. Right now we can see that it looks like Lil Gun, they're not gonna go inside the jungle of KBG. So Sima can farm up pretty well, but again, this composition has a lot of pickoffs. And when it comes to pickoffs, you have to choose the right targets. Because, again, there's a lot of targets that you don't want to hit. You don't want to hit Isa, you don't want to hit Zexora. If you can get... Honestly, at this point, Ethan is probably the best. At this point, yes. Slowing down the level 4. But I think once you're able to get some farm... Oh, oh already though. Simba going to take quite a bit. This is the... I guess you could say, in a way, it's a downside of any of these heroes that kind of fit that role where Nolan is, right? You are quite squishy, and you have to rely on being able to follow up from your roam. And that's what I'm saying. Like, the way we've seen Tides play throughout the course of, you know, just the group stage alone, oh, sometimes he's had a hard time, just like now, actually. Gonna flick her out. We'll be able to survive for now. Now, Simba looking for his Ooh, own kill. Ethan, he quite wants low, it. he gets it. Fracture there as well. They get the first blood, but he goes down next. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it, though. Yeah. You're trading the jungle for the roam, that's just not a good sign at any point, considering that the turtle's coming up pretty soon, too. When I, when I was saying focus on Ethan, that's not what I thought how it looked like. That's what he went for. That's what he went for, but, you know, it's like... Your instructions were not specific enough. Yeah. It's nice being a, as an analyst today. I, I nailed a lot correct, but not the way I thought it would look. It's basically like, like getting your wishes granted by a genie. Exactly, yeah. Perf perfect analogy. Analogy, correct? Yeah. yeah. Analogy. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, anal Meta analogy, yeah. metaphor. Actually, I've always wondered what the difference between those two words is. For now, though, Ethan in trouble again. Oh, Ethan gonna get hunted down here. Simba, but will not be able to get it unless LMU can do something about it. Gonna be able to land that, gets the stun off as well. Still, Simba goes in. They trade the objective, though. We saw this from the previous game. So they're on the hunt for these kills, but again, I'd love to see them contest for the objectives. Final Slash gonna be used, Aizen. Fancy footwork, meanwhile, they get the flicker out. That's the heart guard, too, for Forbid from Ethan, but it looks like they're just gonna call it off. My question is, because I've been saying a lot of things that Keep Best Gaming have been doing, can I go to China? I don't do see I have why a, not. Do I have a China brain? I am not going to answer that. <laughs> All right, fair enough. For now, Simba in trouble. I think Simba might have to go and rely on the team here. ZX Aura gonna be in trouble now. Simba, oh, getting really close there. Ethan was there to help him out with the waves, but no one goes down. And yeah, that looked like it could be a bit greedy of Simba for a moment. Yes, you got the catch, but your health is so low. No reason for you to stick around. Almost got punished for it, but he's still okay for now. Keep us gaming, still maintaining an okay foothold in the game. But we can see Forbin now holding on to that Divine Judgment. That means that Lil Gun as well will have pickoff potential. I want to see Tides being more proactive because now he has the tools for it. He even, he even has the flicker, but again, it's all about targeting here. And I kind of feel like Lil Gun understands that as well. That's why they're posi pre-positioning themselves around the gold lane because Keep Best Gaming, that's their best bet. And that's where Team Lil Gun is making sure that there will be some kind of counter engage. Well, right now, Tide's gonna be able to go. Ooh. He gets final slash, flickers out. ZX Aura wants the kill, though. And Aizen goes in, but ZX Aura gets that one. They're happy with it. They know the turtle's up in just a bit. So we'll see how the positioning goes. Meanwhile, see you working on that bottom lane. He's able to get a bit of gold shield down there. ZX Aura now in trouble again, but here comes the hard guard. And that's the combo we were talking about, right? The Angela Maxia. So hard to break through the defenses of such a combo. 
An Angia? Angia? Bo You're trying to combine Boxala? it. Boxala? 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 That sounds weird enough to be a thing. It's the, it, it's the Boxala combo. I guess it's not bad. All right. See how they go about this one again. Going to be able to use it. Still fighting for the turtle. There's Forbid. Jumps in. It's ZXOR that gets the turtle this time. Simba in trouble. Couple of away and he finally falls. And they back off from that. Team Little Gun again with the objectives. Here's the thing. I don't see Nolan as a... Oh, Vivex finds God. Yeah, yeah Vivex. Uh, oh, Going to try to get that crossbow tang off. He's almost there. He's got it. Gets the kill as well. Doesn't need the team even there. Yeah, Godyang actually flickered and uh, let Bevex hit that final weakness point there. So that was a big mistake. I, like, yes, you want to flicker back into the safety of your tower, but you also got to make sure about angles when you're facing a hero like a one one. That's the an, an, an experience careering its ugly head once again to keep best gaming. Right now, keep best gaming, and this Nolan is not working out so well, and this Boxer is doing what he's supposed to do, going inside the jungle and trying to have a big... His heart just goes back in. Yeah, still going to be fighting it out. Not sure if he's going to be able to get that kill. Looks like he backed away enough, but he did lose the purple buff. That purple buff going to oh. be very important for Nolan. Tides. Not sure if they're going to pull this one. He goes in with his own divine judgment. Tides will be the one to fall. Do they still want to fight it out? It looks like they do. Oh. Bevex going to get stunned. Back. It's a crossbow what? tank. Off in time. LMU going to be the one in trouble. Feathered airstrike comes down. But Bevex just fine. And for Bid oh. finishes off Lemu as well. Literally the exact moment the projectiles of the torn apart memory would have collided. The crossbow attack came out. Oh, Isaac jumping in with a flicker. Gets Simba and flexes on him too. Yeah. 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 I I either way, is not sure what's going on now. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you lose? Yeah. I, I, I couldn't hear what you guys were yeah. saying, but. Either way, it's right now, Team Lil Gun, they have a substantial lead, 4,000 goal lead, in fact. And now Team Lil Gun, they're already in prime position to kind of let the map shape however they want it to look like. Because keep best gaming, when you have a Kaja, you want map control because you want the advantages of those bushes because you can surprise opponents. But if you don't have control, then it's going to be hard to surprise. And as I say that... Yeah, they're going to go ahead and divine judgment. Aizen, he uses the final slash. Zimba fell, though. So with that, still in the bottom lane, they're going to put the pressure there. Another objective secured here for the hands of ZX Aura. And right now, it just looks like KBG can't do anything anywhere across the map. Team Lil Gun in complete control. Ooh. There was some damage. Ethan has to respect, though. Gadian gets something, Ooh. and he gets another. Finally able to get some punishment in the direction of Team Lil Gun here. Ethan Webex felt a little bit too confident to dive that, and glossed it lives as a result. Let's see if they can get more here. Simba has to be careful about how he approaches some of these fights, some of these skirmishes. But, you know, as I was saying, KBG struggling to find something. At least they get a double out of that. But still, we're in a similar situation where things are falling mm. apart quickly. No wonder the damage was there. He completed the Hepsis Hep first. I kind of feel like, yeah, the Malefic Roar is going to be there. So the damage coming in from Keep Best Gaming is there. So it's not, all hope is not lost. All they really need is to set something up for God Yang. And then once he has that, try to get oh. through turrets. Oh, Tide's going to jump in, grab the target. Ethan's out of here. Good use of the Divine Judgment with the Flicker. So at least they get that advantage, but what can they do with it? For now, they're going to be able to make sure the rest of them get out without too much damage taken. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure if that's going to translate into too much more map pressure, but hey, they did target Ethan. This, at this point, that's interesting. If they get a kill, I kind of feel like they should go for the side leads. Tra because when you have the side leads, you have a lot of bushes to work with, and then you can do that basically much more because even if you get the mid, it's going to be pretty good, but it's going to be very difficult. So, keep best gaming. After getting a kill, they need to get at least one turret. If you get at least one turret, then they're at the right spot. Yeah, right now, they're still going to be putting pressure on this side of the jungle. Heart guard already going to be used. So, they used that before this Lord take. We'll see how they want to play this one out. KBG has that information. They have a go signal as well. Tides doesn't have the flicker, though. So we'll see if he actually plays around with a Divine Judgment. 
And not sure if the resources will be enough. Oh. Aizen does spot out Simba in the push, but ooh, oh. that's weird movement, but yeah. he's okay for now. I think that was the the enhanced auto attack. It accidentally locked on to the to the Arlen, so he dashes straight towards him. That but yeah, bad. that was a mistake, yeah. For now, um they gotta Avoid making mistakes like that. But following up on what you were mentioning earlier, LaFell, uh, about like yep. being able to win out those side lanes yep. once you get a kill, I feel yep. like Geekbeth might be a bit oh. too afraid to do that. We're gonna go ahead and focus on Aizen. He gets Divine Judgment. They're looking for the kill still. They're gonna jump in here. Godiang trying to do something, but he went down so quickly. Now Simba on the hunt. He's on the run. They're gonna go for it, but he can't get away further. See who falls off on the other side of the map. All of this happening here while Lord makes its way top side. But they almost got two turns down bot. So again, it's the it's, it's it's same idea as I was saying, trying to get one side going. If they could push just a little bit more, they could have gotten that. But I think they're depending a bit too hard on numerical advantage right Ooh. now. You can see how defensively they have to play. The moment Team Lilgun dives in aggressively, Keep as Gaming knows they don't have the tools to be able to respawn. They gotta be the ones starting these fights, and to do that, they have to be generally together. See if they can pull something off here. Again, it is only the first Lord. Quick work of it, finally goes down. But it just looks like, like Team Lilgun is happy with what they can get, even if it's just these buffs. For okay. now, it doesn't look like the game is going to end quite as quickly as game two, but it's still going down that same sort of avenue here. What what does Keep Best Gaming need to do? Catch someone off. The moment, I would say, Arlet or Zexora uh, dives a little bit too heavily inside, pull them in, kill them. That's step one. Oh. Step two, tight. This might be oh. the moment they're All looking right. for. They're going to go ahead and divine judgment ZXora, but the rest of the team, Aizen making his way as well. Final slash, keeping him at bay. ZXora finally goes down. The rest of Little Gun on the chase. CU might get caught out once again. He's not going to be able to get away from Bebex. He just waits patiently for his death. He'll be the one to go down. Can I say this is one of my best days of being an analyst, of calling out things before they happen? Yeah. They got a kill on Zexor and then they kited. It. it literally happened exactly as you said. Like the moment it was playing out, I was definitely starting to believe that you actually do have some kind of future vision. Oh. But not sure if that's going to be enough. The bottom inhibitor just falls for free basically to team a little gun because there's not enough bodies to protect it down here. And on the top side, you have Simba up there just trying to cut that in. But Zexor is going to have the heart guard from Ethan. And now he's gonna get chased down, really nowhere for him to go as he gets taken down in the top lane. Trying to do something for his team, but ultimately, again, he's down before the Lord comes up. Okay, looking at the top side, almost getting that turret. So I kind of feel like Keep Best Gaming, they're doing a good enough job of controlling the side. So before that, Tides. Tides, can he get away here? He's gonna flicker out. So able to stay alive, but yeah, this just looks like it's gonna be another Lord here for Team Lil Gun. Yeah, that means that they don't have to be wary of the Flicker Divine Judgment anymore. And even with it, Keep Best Gaming just cannot leave their base right now. Earlier, Simba tried to do so. Probably the wrong timing to do it with, though, considering he is the jungler. Okay, but either ways, right now, 8,000 gold deficit. Here's the thing that we haven't seen a lot, which is Farsa. Farsa should be able to clear the minions oh. Oh, pretty steadily. Well, that was weird. Interesting flicker from Forbid. Um, Might have wanted to try something there, but me, <laughs> or he just like did he just change his mind mid flicker? Could have, but we'll just ignore it for now because Lord is making its way down the bottom. It's up to KBG to do Ooh. something. There's the final slash. And see you make quick work of in the backside. They go Eisen keeping them at bay. Hard guard on Bebex, and he's just unleashing Ooh. with a crossbow of Tang Ooh. into Ooh. the base. He goes. Still working on it, and that's gonna be it. Team Lil Gun will win the series. In a flashy style, our representatives from